All right, so I've been having a lot of questions about mouse movement recently after posting some videos. Um, so I figured I'd do a quick little tutorial slash demo of how to set it up, practice with it, um, and then get used to it from there. Some tricks and techniques to help you with a learning curve on trying to uh, master it. As I myself am currently still practicing with it and trying to learn how to use it properly. But um, I can at least give some tips and info on what I'm currently doing in order to try to get better with it. So first things first, the setup. Um, it is a game setting, so you have to go in the settings, game, and then you'll see this use mouse movement uh, option available to check. Uh, just go ahead and click that to check it. What that means is after you check it, you can hit the control key and then you get your cursor to display here. Well, if I use left mouse button, I will then move to those locations rather than using arrow keys or the suede or WASD. Um, so how we make use of this from a Maywalk perspective um, is you would actually want to basically start an ability like Pedal Drill, for example, as you see in my videos. You can also use abilities like Tenacious Edge, um, Red Moon, and Turn the Frontal Guard too, which is really nifty, but still not really practical. Um, but you can protect yourself better that way. And then you can also do it with Cloud Stab. However, it's a little difficult with both Tenacious Edge and Cloud Stab because they have fast animations. So use it at your own risk for that. Drill is really where it shines, though. Um, so using pedal drill and curving it behind your opponent's frontal guards, that's where it really makes the difference. Or reaching them in angles that they didn't think you were going to be able to reach before. Um, you can basically surprise them, stun them, and then combo them down from there. So in order to do this, um, I set up a macro where basically I have a uh, Corsair Scimitar mouse. And that has keypads on the side. I set the control key to one of the thumb buttons on the side, so it makes it easier for my usage. Um, as hitting the control key is kind of awkward for me. But um, so when you start drill, you just have that initial animation where you're about ready to leap. At that point, you actually want to hit control and then you'll be able to use mouse movement. So as a quick demonstration, I might screw up a few times, so just bear with me. So as you see right there, I was able to curve it smoothly to the left. Um, as you may have noticed, at the end, I actually walked forward a little bit. That's dangerous. So what's happening there is I'm not hitting control again to make my cursor disappear. So it's still trying to move me forward rather than stopping and leaving me in lingering super armor, which if you have um, the flow with uh, pedal drill, you'll actually get lingering super armor for a few seconds after you land with it. So you can't be CC'd. It's really useful. So let's try to do it real quick properly. So I clicked it again and got rid of my mouse and then I didn't move anymore. And until I bring my spear back to normal state, I'm actually in full super armor. Therefore, I can't be CC'd and punished. I can be attacked still and take damage, but I won't be CC'd, which is the primary thing that we're looking for here. Um, so you can do this pretty reliably as long as you just put away your cursor. The other key thing and trick to it is you got to make sure you're actually within range of your character. Otherwise, if you click like way out here or something like that, you will have problems with, um, let's see if I can do one, moving forward basically. So you'll end up still walking. However, I don't think I put my cursor away, so let me try it with cursor away. All right, so yeah, if you just put your cursor away, you'll actually be fine. So as long as you put your cursor away, you're okay. Um, so that just cut that requires two quick actions. You have to hit control or a macro key to it to activate mouse movement. You have to hold left mouse button down while it's active in order to move. 
in that particular direction. And then you hit control again when you're done so that you put your cursor away so you don't walk forward and get yourself CC'd and inevitably punished. Um, another quick way you can actually make use of this, if you're having trouble putting it away like I do sometimes, in my videos you'll see I get punished after using it. I'm still getting used to it so in live combat, so it's a little tricky sometimes. If you're having trouble with that, I've noticed that something you can do is actually use a directional key like S for example, and it actually will put the cursor away sometimes and allows you to go into S block so you automatically guard if they hit you from the front. Um, or you can try chasing away with a right mouse click and that will obviously put you in super armor which at that point you can set yourself back up and protect yourself. So I'll leave my cursor up and try to do my technique that I currently do. Well, it didn't work right there, so. Like I said, bear with me. <laughs> Still learning this myself, so it's a work in progress. I was able to click it again. I'm getting into the habit of it, so it wasn't a true representation. Let me do the S block. So I was just holding S there, I didn't click anymore on my mouse. And I didn't hit the control key. So S block will allow you to get out of it. Um, and will protect you. Let me try right mouse click again. No, that was S block. Yeah, okay, so you can't use chase. I guess I must have hit when I'm using it, I must be hitting S block and then chase at the same time to get into chase mode. So S block is how you stop the cursor from basically continuing you walking in a direction or just putting your cursor away. So that's basically how you do it. Um, and you can do all sorts of uh, directions with this. It's pretty nifty. You can preset your, like if you're blocking against someone, you can set your cursor uh, where you need to by hitting control and then releasing it so that it's there again. So like, for example, I'll put it behind me and I'll do a drill behind me. So if you have someone like a ninja that uh, jump blocks behind you, maybe you can sneak behind them before they even catch you and then they're, they get screwed instead. Um, so you can do nifty stuff like that. Um, you can do pretty hard turns. Um, that's not too bad of one. You can do almost full 360. No, that's 180 actually. I don't think I've actually achieved a 360. I think you can get a 180 um, directional. You can go straight to the sides. You can do all sorts of stuff. It's pretty nifty. Play around with it. Um, I recommend for practice if you have enough DP and AP, you can use pirates as an example. Um, the mobs are really easy to kill, so you don't have a problem with not killing them. And it doesn't affect your grind too much, however it will slow it down. So don't expect it to be like something you're making a lot of money of while practicing. Um, it will slow down your grind because you're going to be focusing on it, wanting to learn it. But it's a good way to get used to the technique um, and practice other things like after you land the stun, back chase through your opponent to get to their back and then moonrise them because that's ultimately the purpose of this you want to land a stun and then you want to maximize your damage by getting behind the mobs and uh or the players and then doing all back attacks See, as i went around that sentinel right there allows me to imitate or simulate me going behind someone's frontal guard so practicing techniques like that could be really useful for you. Um, just using drill straight up, I mean, you can catch people uh, pretty easily sometimes. However, higher up the skill curve you go, you'll notice that it becomes much more difficult to actually catch people with normal drills to the point where it's almost like basically you're never going to catch them with it. So in order to get yourself a reliable CC instead of depending on stigma so much, which I was finding out that I was only able to catch people with stigma sometimes rather than drills it just it opens up more options combo wise for you to actually do a lot more damage to somebody because 
the stiff combos unless you can get up to them real fast and do a roll rage or a drill, which sometimes isn't really reliable for speed. You're not going to be able to do any significant damage to them, so this opens up some options to that. But yeah, if you have any questions about it, um, just uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, I hope this helps, um, and hopefully you watch some more content that I'm going to be posting soon. We're going to get some nice uh, fights with some Valks and Warriors, our roughest matchups, considered our hard counters. So Don't expect too many major wins and victories, but um, I'll at least give you an idea of how to fight against them, at least from my perspective and my style, so that you can defend yourself in open world. Not every Valken Warrior is really that great. And you can exploit a lot of the things that I'm going to show you in those videos um, on weaker warriors, lower gear score warriors, and actually kill them pretty effectively. So, Alright, hope you all enjoy and have a good day.